Joseph had a dream. He had many dreams. The first of his dreams was the angel Gabriel told him, Do not be afraid because Mary has conceived a child by the power of the Holy Spirit. And the name of the child will be Jesus. Jesus. Later on, we will add Jesus Christ. The first dream of Joseph was about the name of the child. And the name of the child will be Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. What is important about Jesus? Jesus is the name. Jesus is the person. Jesus is God made flesh. He's the one we can touch. He's the one we can hug. He's the one who has taken our own flesh, our own blood, who breathes our air, who eats our food. But when we speak about Christ, Christ, as you know, is not a name. Christ is the mission. Christ identifies Jesus. Jesus is the anointed one, Christos. He is the one anointed by God, and therefore, he is sent to proclaim the good news to the poor, to the brokenhearted. In our discipleship of Christ, we can be torn between these two. Some of us can be very strong with devotion to the person of Christ, but we might be weak in our passion, in our zeal for the mission of Christ. Jesus is about the person of God coming to us as a friend, coming to us as a brother. Christ is God coming to us and entrusting to us his mission. So we can be strong with devotions. We can be strong with our prayers, with our acts of piety, and we can be strong with our personal relationship with Christ. And we say, Jesus is Lord. But on the other hand, it is not enough to be devoted to the person of Christ because his mission must be our mission and his vision should be our vision. So at this point, when we reflect together on the first dream of Joseph, which is giving the name Jesus to the baby, I ask you now, who are you? Who are you? I will answer it in the negative, borrowing the thoughts of another spiritual writer, Henry Nouwen. He says, first and foremost, you are not your money. You are not your possessions. You are not your land titles. You are not your buildings. You are not your stocks. You are not your jewelries. You are not, you are not your antique collections. You are not these earthly possessions. I was always told as a seminarian that if you fall in love with a man or a woman, that is bad. But if you fall in love with money, that is worse. Our commitment to be totally dedicated to the Lord in a life of chastity, in a life of celibacy, is compromised not just by relationships, but by attachments. And money is a very severe master. Money is a good servant. We need it for the apostolate. But money is a very bad boss. Because when money dictates on us and the attraction to money determines our decision making, then money has become our idol. Who are you? I am not my money. I am not my possessions. Second, you are not what other people say. You are not. They may calumniate you. They may ignore you. They may take you for granted. They may suspect you. 
they may even imprison you and consider being a disciple of Christ a criminal offense. We may even be killed, but we are not what other people say. Because at the end of the day, at the sunset of our lives, it is only God who will be our judge. And it is what God says of us that should matter to us. Who are you? You are not your mistakes. You are not your sins. You may have done this wrong. You may have fallen. But you are not your mistakes. You are not your sins. Do not identify yourself with the mistakes you have done in the past. Or do not identify yourself in the future with your future mistakes. You are not your mistakes. Because the mercy of God is richer than your sins. You are not what other people say. You are not your money. You are not your mistakes. So the question is to be asked, who are we? And the question perhaps has no answer because the more important question is, to whom do you belong? And Jesus belongs to the Father. And Christ's mission is the mission of the Father. So at this point, when we reflect on the first dream of Joseph, it is good to ask ourselves that question, Who are you? Who are you? You are not what other people say. You are not your possessions. You are not your mistakes. You are not your achievements. You are not that. Do not identify yourself with these. To whom do you belong? Whose are you? You belong to Christ. Let Jesus be our best friend. And let the mission of Christ be our only mission. With Joseph, let us dream dreams. And in those dreams, may the angel speak to us and reveal to us who we really are. Who are you?